Saturday at the gym did not go as planned. So I thought I would grab a barbell and start doing overhead barbell raise. Normally I use a dumbbell so my shoulders are a little bit more narrower in the grip. I decided to use a barbell. I went back for the first one. Something felt a little funny in my shoulder so I thought I would readjust my grip. Went a little wider. Mistake. All of a sudden, my shoulder went out of its socket. I know. I literally, in a flash of a second, it went back in the socket and I picked the bar back up and put it back down. Oh my goodness. So, I'm like, what just happened? What just happened? Did I just dislocate my shoulder? What if I couldn't have gotten that bar back up? I would have dislocated my shoulder. Anyway, I think I've dislocated my shoulder. I can't be entirely sure though, because I haven't seen a doctor about it yet, but I'm going today. Anyway, weird thing, I still have range of motion. It's a bit tight, it's sore. It's sore back here, sore in the front. That being said, I thought I would just share that with you, that even though you work out all the time, accidents can still happen, no matter how fit you are. My husband said to me, Tracy, you do this for a living. Did you think you were gonna not get hurt at some point? So, that's true. Anyway, my shoulder is really sore. So, today's workout is gonna be all lower body again. Even though we just did that last week, we're doing it again. So hopefully you wanna train your lower body as well. Hey, if you want an upper body workout, you're like, hey, I was hoping for upper body, go ahead and click the card right up there. That'll take you to an upper body workout that you can do with weights. I'm gonna do like a cardio slash ab workout today. No equipment is required, so it'll be really great. I've got a different format for you, okay? So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do 10 minutes of cardio, five minutes of abs, 10 minutes of cardio, five minutes of abs, 10, five, 10, five, ba-da, 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 okay? <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Um, we're gonna do that until an hour subsides and then we'll be done our workout. So. I'm gonna give some modifications for the cardio exercises if you need to modify for yourself. I will do that for you and let's just get started, okay? We're gonna do a 30 second work, 10 seconds of reprieve and switch exercise so I can show you what's coming up. All right, that's it. Grab your water, BCAAs. If you haven't subscribed, do that. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get going. Let's move daily. All right, let's start off with a quick warm up. I'm gonna do it with you today. So let's start with feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat roundhouse. We'll get those hips warmed up, that ball and socket in your hips so you don't dislocate it like I did my shoulder. Goodness me, that was horrible. It really was like very quick, just happened like in a second. Have any of you dislocated your shoulder? Is that what you experienced? Did it kind of slip out of joint and then go back in? Or did it stay out? I would love to hear in the comments below if you've done it and if you think I've done it. And what did I do? Would I be able to lift my arm above my head if I did dislocate it? I don't know. I haven't Googled it yet. Anyway, doctor, physio today, we'll see. All right, five more here. Get low, drop your butt. And three, two, and one. All right, let's just start with a little bow skip here. Again, we want to get the blood pumping and make sure that everything's warmed up and ready to go here. So I'm looking forward to this format. 10 minutes cardio, bring it down, five minute ab, and then circulate through that. I think I will really enjoy that. Um, so far with a little jumping, my shoulder feels fine. So should be okay. But like I said, I will give you modifications if you want low impact cardio. So that being said, here's your modification for the skipping. I missed that. It's okay. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it to a wide plie squat. Super tall, squeeze the butt at the top here. We've just got a few here. Again, just trying to Get everything all agile and ready to do this workout. All right, two more right here. That's it. And butt kicks. 
you can modify it right here. All right. Get that heart rate up. Well, Canada sure is experiencing some crazy weather patterns right now. Uh, apparently, by the end of this week or the middle of this week, it's supposed to be up to about 17 or 18 above. But one of my clients had to miss a weekend conference in Toronto because of your ice storm, snowstorm there, hey? That is horrible. If you live there, I'm sorry. That sucks. In four, three, two, and one. All right, let's put a foot in front, a foot behind, a little pelvic tilt. Drop it down right here in this split lunge. We've got 10 per side here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, it's very foggy and misty out today. Where I'm living in Kelowna here in Canada, Western Canada. All right, drop it down. So hopefully you have better weather than we do. But it actually makes it easy to work out of inside then, doesn't it? Otherwise, I don't want to be out hiking. All right, let's go back to a little jog and spot here. You can high knees right here to modify. Let's get those knees up. This is just our warm up, remember? We are gonna get a little bit more intense coming up. Good, 10 more seconds right here. All right, let's take it to a side lunge. And alternating, give a good stretch in that inner thigh. If you haven't done that exercise in a while, just go pretty shallow. Okay, otherwise you can reach those hips way back. Give a good stretch on that inner thigh. Excellent. All right, six more here, and then we're getting started. Last three, two, and one. Okay, make sure your water or BCAs are handing around you. We're getting started right now. All right, make sure you have lots of space. We're starting with a side-to-side -side front punch in three, two, and here we go. Okay, modify right here with low impact. Otherwise, let's run it out. Punch it forward. All right. Let's get those arms involved here. Over halfway. Right, sticking with the side to side movement. We're gonna do a side to side shuffle coming up. All right, there's your rest. Kick it out. Scratch it if you need to. Sometimes it's itchy. That was my leg. Don't worry about it if you're not looking up. Okay, here we go. I just, yeah, all right, never mind. Here we go. Stay low. All right. Side to side, quick little shuffles here, little steps. Five more seconds. Three, two, and then a rest. Okay, fast front kick coming up. You can modify that right here. Just with the front kick out, ready? Otherwise, you're running it right here. Front kick right there, right there. Squat jack, center jumping jack. It's coming up. Come on, five seconds. And rest. Okay, modify this by squat, center, squat, center. All right, ready? Here we go. Squat jack, center jumping jack, low and up. Drop your butt. Ready? 
I'm not gonna lift my arm too high up. Feel free to go all the way. I noticed that that hurts a bit. So you just gotta work with your injury, you know? If you have one, there's always something you can do. That's for sure. Okay, isolated feet jack. So we're just doing feet on the jack. Modify right there. Ready? Let's do it. Right here, right here. Did I tell you that I broke my arm? Like, was probably four years ago now. Broke my wrist. Doing an aerial off of the deck. Hey, I used to be able to do it. And then I turned 45 and couldn't. So, anyway. But I still went to the gym afterwards. I just worked legs and abs and cardio for two to three months while I was healing. Okay, a little breathing for a second. Four high knees, two jumping lunges. Okay, so you can uh, modify with just a regular reverse lunge. So one, two, three, four. Lunge, lunge. Three, four, lunge. Giant ice skater coming up. Woo, okay. Modify your ice skater here. Otherwise, we're, we're aiming for length, okay? So go as far as you can. Here we go. Big one. Really work that glute on that one side. Squat, elbow to knee coming up. No jump on that one, but it'll be fast, so it'll get the heart rate up. Five more seconds here. Really wide, let's go, big jump. Okay, squat, elbow to knee coming up. Okay, no mod there. Do it with me. Here we go. Low, touch your elbow to your knee. Low and drop the glutes. Butt kicks are coming up. Butt kicks and skipping are kind of our reprieve. All right, we'll throw them throughout. Modified butt kick here. All right, otherwise running. Three, two, let's do it. We've got three more minutes of work, then we can take a break. Joker jacks are coming up. I feel like my hair is falling out. Elastic's old and partly broken. Okay, Joker jacks is here to modify. Otherwise, we're gonna right, 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 jump it out. Ready? Let's do it. Feel like I need some ba 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 music here. Oh, this is hard though. I don't love it. Almost there, five seconds. Then we'll go to skips. Three, two, time. Oh, pukey. All right, a little skip to bring the heart rate down slightly. In three, two, here. This little guy. Modify here. All right, reverse lunge hop. We're gonna do the same leg for 30 seconds, okay? Modify by leaving out the hop. Just give me the reverse lunge. All right, so, you're back, you hop, same leg, 30 seconds. 
Ready? And let's go. Pop it up. Nice and strong. Give me a good jump there. Use those hands, drive yourself to the ceiling. You're burning out. Go into that reverse lunge, no hop. Don't stop if you can. 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Good. Switching legs. Shake that out. Whew. Gives a good burn. Ready? And back we go. Drop that back knee. Bend. Come on, bend. Now feel it. 10 seconds. Cross body jacks are coming up. Oh, that is fire. Okay, modify this right here. All right, but give me a good pace. No slow moving. Here we go. And jump. Cross the legs, cross the hands. More exercise than a break than our ab sequence for five minutes. One, two, three, hop is coming up. All right, there's your break. One, two, three, knee the elbows, your mod. Okay, otherwise run it. Ready, let's do it. One, two, three, three. Stay low. there in five four three two and time okay pause the video if you need a break grab water and let's go to our abs on your back feet to the ceiling alternating toe touch get ready in four three two here we go reach to the outside of that foot all right you want to think about bringing those upper abs up, okay? Bring it up, touch the foot, crunch at the top. Got a little oblique, little upper abdominal wall here. And of course, holding the legs up requires some strength. Keep touching. Now at any point, if you need to break and then join back in, feel free to do so, okay? Good. All right, let's rest for a second. Hands underneath your bottom. Big flutter kick coming up in three, two, and here we go. All right, don't rush through this. The slower, the more difficult often, okay? So I don't want you to touch the ground, but go almost to the ground. Moving into a windshield wiper from here, so stay in the same position, all right? We're gonna just sweep our legs side to side, either in a 90 degree, um, form or straight leg is more difficult. In three, two, time. Focus on keeping your shoulder blades on the ground. Here's your 90 degree. Otherwise, straight legs for more difficulty. In three, two, and here we go. All right, shoulders stay on the ground. Don't let the legs touch the ground. Just hover above and then come back up. Great. I like this as a warm-up exercise, this one too, when I do glutes. Glute day, it's a good core and glute activation exercise here. Everything's gotta come to the table in this exercise. Focus on keeping those shoulders on the ground though. Okay, break there. Seated scissor, all right? Put your hands behind you, we're scissoring right there. Ready, let's go, straight legs. Oh, way more difficult than when you're lying down. I might have to break here. This is hard. 
Holy. A little hard on the hip flexors and quads. Are doing some work there, aren't they? Ugh. So you just pause for a second, let that lactic acid just come out, and quickly pop back in for the last seven seconds. Oh, three, two, and time. All right, let's go into a straddle crunch. Knees apart, feet together, we're crunching through. Ready, and here we go. Stay close to your body here. Press through. Little side plank coming up. And we're gonna do 30 seconds per side here. I'll show you a modification. Good, last seven seconds. Pause at the top and flex. Okay, so your mod here would be a foot in front, hand up right there, or you can put foot behind, or you can go from bent knees. All right, otherwise, toes, pop it up right here. Nice and controlled. See if I dislocated my shoulder, would I be able to do this? This actually feels fine. Um, holding my own body weight up right there. I think I just slipped it out of its socket. Slipped it back in. I don't know. Good, you're over halfway. You have literally, what, seven seconds left here? Keep holding it. Oh, you feel those obliques. All right, switch sides quickly. Last exercise here, and then we're moving back to our cardio. Ready, and up. Good. This is actually nice. Bring the heart rate down slightly. I like it. I like it a lot. Great, you're halfway. It's time to bring your heart rate down. So nice, slow, deep, regular breathing through the nose and exhale slowly through the mouth. Right, you're almost there in four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go right back into the cardio. Back to our cardio, we're starting with cardio kicks. That's your modification, otherwise kick it up. Ready, let's do it. Right here, right here. That five minute break was nice. I mean, yeah, it was a great recovery. Now ready to go again. Feeling good. Hey, I have to tell you this. I made a copycat Starbucks sous vide eggs. Do you have those in the States or in the UK or wherever you're from? Mine turned out so well. I'm gonna post the recipe below because you're gonna die. It's high protein and tasty as I'll get out. All right, regular jumping jacks. You can modify right here, okay? Otherwise, jump it out with your hands above your head. Here we go. Mine are only gonna come to there, but please feel free to do the full way. Yeah, because there's cottage cheese in there. Eggs. You can put cheese or you can leave the cheese out. Um, anyway, you blend it all together, which, and then cook it with water in the microwave or in the oven to make them moist and tender. They're so good. And break. All right, ice skater giant hop. So you're gonna take a step, knee up, step, knee up. That's your modification. Let's jump that knee up. Ready? So step, knee, step, knee. Anyway, and, hey, if you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to head over there, Move Daily Fitness, because it was in my story this last weekend, which has now disappeared. But if you were following me, you could have seen it, had the recipe, and made them yourself on Sunday. Anyway, head on over there, move daily fitness, and follow me. So that's where I'll post some recipes. All right, I gotta stop talking. Let's go back to the butt kicks, just for a little reprieve. Modify here. Ready? Let's do it. Burpee coming up. Narrow to wide burpee, no jump, okay? You can jump out narrow, jump forward wide. I'll show you the mod quickly as soon as we're done here. Back 
five seconds. All right, so you're gonna walk it out narrow, walk up wide, squeeze. Otherwise, you're jumping that same format. Ready? Here we go. Narrow wide, no jump, just down. Good. Going right into a sprawling frog kick. Ah, would you lace? All right, modify the sprawling frog right here, here, step, step, squeeze. Otherwise, we're jumping it out. And here we go. Knee to elbow, jump forward. Knee to elbow, and stand. slightly. Whew, that was fun. Ready? Skip it out. Right here. Back to burpees. Okay, we're gonna do a bottom only burpee. So you jump it out. You jump it low, but you don't pop up. Stay in a low squat position, okay? I'll show you my at the start. Five, four, three, two. All right, so you would step back, in, in, right there. Walk, walk, in, in, there. Jump. Here we go. Right there for the regular version. With your hands up. Pop your feet forward. Almost there. Seven seconds, come on. Sit up tall. Oh, brutal. Okay, high knees coming up. One by here. All right, and start. Get them off. Just a few more minutes to break. We're gonna do those fast feet front kick next. Get those hands in there. Come on. And break. Modify here for that fast feet front kick. Otherwise, quickly and fastly kick your feet. Ready? Let's do it. Right here. Snowboard is coming up. Different than that rotational spider jump we did a couple of videos ago. Okay, not touching the ground, not using the hands really. In three, two, one. Okay, modify with a squat, rotate 180, squat, otherwise you're jumping. Ready? Go up, squat, squat. Go the same way you came. Don't jump in a circle or you'll get dizzy. And sometimes I keep my face forward so my eyes don't get dizzy. Because I'm old and that's what happens. Oh, goodness, 10 seconds. Squat. Ugh, brutal. Okay, one more. Oh, okay, because I need to sit. Let's do a sit squat. Modify with just a regular sit squat, no jump. Ready? Pop it up. That's 
it. Get some momentum using those arms. Drive it up. Drive. Butt kicks coming up. Bring our heart rate down slightly. Before the next burpee. Okay. Holy Hannah. This is hard. What did I say was coming up? Oh yeah, butt kicks. Let's do it. Modify here. Here we go. All right. Burpee's gonna be a burpee out, plank jack, burpee in, stand. I'll show you in the mod right away here. Three, two, here we go. Burpee out, tap, tap, burpee in, squeeze. Otherwise you jump that all. Ready? Go. Jump up. modify here. Okay, otherwise jump it. Here we go. Front and back. Nice and quick. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Ten seconds. the video if you need, join back for abs. Let's take it down for a pistol crunch, okay? One leg straight, one knee bent, hands behind your head, 30 seconds per leg here. All right, I want you to go slow. Do not speed through this, okay? Pull it up, contract the abs at the top, pause, relax. Okay, so you're like, oh my gosh, my back is killing me here. Put the bent knee down. Focus still on those upper abs. Having that leg off the ground is just gonna target those, that lower portion quite a bit more. Right, you feel it there? We're almost on the side, then a little break. All right, rest for a second. Switch legs. Whew, that's good. Ready, and crunch up and low. Pull it up. I hope it's feeling like work already for you guys. It definitely is for me. Flipping over into a hand and toe plank coming up. Good, last five seconds. Last one here, up. Good. All right, flip it over. Hands and toes. You're gonna do a walkout, alternating walkout. Your tap forward, tap back, modify from your knees. Here we go. Front, front, back, back. I'm gonna switch lead arms. Okay, so I'm just gonna alternate one arm taps out first. I like that I had to actually explain what switch means. <laughs> Obviously, you know what switch lead arms means. Jeez, Tracy. Oh. This is hard. You don't love it anymore? Okay. Get out of that position. V-sit pulse coming up. Okay, sit in a V-sit. Lean back, feet on the ground to modify. Otherwise, pulse right here. Stick your chest up and out. Nice flat back here. Feel that. Good, halfway. It's hard. 
Six seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Okay, alternating heel drop. Come back onto your elbows. Legs at 90, reaching forward, drop the heels. Ready, start. Oh, this may seem like, ah, oh, that one's easy. <laughs> In this sequence already, holy Hannah. My quads are on fire, abs are on fire. And is my heart rate even coming down? I don't know. Ah, uh, it's work. Okay, I'm quiet now, 10 more seconds, let's do it. Reach it out. Three, two, and time. Let's flip it over to that plank. Okay, hand and toe again. Alternating toe taps. Get ready in three, two, and here we go. You can modify this by just holding this plank from your knees without the tap. That's an option here. Or you want to jack this out, feel free to do plank jacks right there instead. Oh, I stepped on my shoelace again. What is up with that? Good job, almost there, five seconds. One more exercise. Three, two, flip it over. All right, a little V-sit side to side. V-sit side to side, okay? Ready, and here we go. Side and side. And going back to our cardio for the third round. Halfway. Keep going. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, back to cardio. All right, I said at the beginning that rotational spider jump, you're gonna touch the ground. 180 degrees, touch the ground, ready? Let's jump it out, touch, up, touch. So really similar to a snowboarder, but you're touching the ground. And I guess we look like a spider. Rotating is the name of the game here. Jumping lunges coming up. Two hard ones in a row. Okay, modify this by alternating reverse. Otherwise, we're jumping. I'm not gonna like it either. Ready? Go, low, switch. Use your hands. I'll give us an easy one after this, I promise. It's only 30 seconds. Holy. That's hard. 10 seconds. Three, two, uh, yuck. Okay, skier, cross country skier, modify here. Okay, ready? Here we go, 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 go. Get the hands involved. We were watching a bit of the marathon, the Commonwealth Games in Australia yesterday. Oh, this guy was doing the marathon in like two hours, 15 minutes, which is crazy. Okay, rest for a sec. Let's skip, bring our heart rate down. Anyway, one right here. Ready, skip. He collapsed. Like he was so, it was so hot there apparently opposite of here and so normally people do marathon in like four hours four and a half hours five hours six hours but he was two hours 15 he was like a kilometer away from the end line and he collapsed he was so delusional dehydrated it was so sad to see he worked that hard so I think my one hour of cardio can manage this all right, 
butt kicks here, but we're really kicking it wide on the jump. Ready? Wide, wide, wide. Okay, get those feet up. I wanna see you kick your butt. See how high mine are coming? No baby butt kicks for you. All right, diagonal ice skaters are coming up. This is tricky for some. Feel free to do a regular ice skater if you need. Okay, diagonal modify there. Front, front, back. Front, front, okay? Jump it if you can. Ready? Get low. Back, front, front, back. It's really fun if you can get the flow. Ba, ba, stay low and Pogo hop coming up, single leg jump. All right, we're gonna switch halfway at 15 seconds. Okay, so you can just side to side tap here to modify. Otherwise, let's get to it. Let's hop, here we go. You can pretend you're skipping, let's work. Work on that one leg. Whew, it burns already. In four, three, two, switch legs right here. Explosive squat jump coming up. In three, two, and time. Regular squat, touch the ground. Okay, so that's your mod. Otherwise, we're exploding up. Exploding. Ready? Low. Jump. Jump. How high can you get? Okay, fast front kicks coming up for recovery. Modify here. Ready? Let's go. Right here. Finishing off with the tap jump. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Three, two, and rest. Okay, I say finishing off, but we're not finishing off. We're only halfway. Okay, modify here. Otherwise, you jump, tuck, jump. Here we go. It's hard, eh? It's good. Bring your knees up. Slap them. Seal jacks coming up. Full tuck, come on, full tuck. One more. Seal jack, moderate here. Ready? And go. Mountain climbers next. Down, keep 
Então os pintados, vamos reforçar essa vez. Alright, stay down here for a downward dog hop. Modify by bringing the knee in, extending it out. Otherwise, you'll give a little hop. Here we go. 15 seconds aside. Burning those shoulders out. That is for sure. One more this side. Give me a switch. You're gonna stand. Make sure you're not dizzy next. And there's your time. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, skipping. To recover a little. Three, two, there you go. Swing. It's always a good time. The break's coming up. Doing well. Let's do a jumping jack. High knee to finish off this round and into abs. All right. Modify right here. Just high knee, elbow. Otherwise, you jack. I need. It's hard. Ready? Here we go. Jack and knee. Someone comment below another video that she couldn't get this. Believe me, it took me a while too. I have one video. It's like a year ago. I was trying to show the modification. I couldn't get it at all. It was my blooper at the end of the video. Almost there. In four. Three, two, and time. Ah, okay, take your well-deserved break, grab some water, let's get ready for abs. You're starting with a plank position. You can do this from the ground. I'll bring your knee to opposite elbow. All right, here we go. Feet on the ground to modify. Let's make it a bit more difficult by kicking this up here. Really feel the obliques here, don't ya? That's it, you're only 10 seconds left. Then on your back. All right, princess, sit up. Roll it over, one foot to the ceiling. We're coming all the way up, grabbing that foot. We're gonna do 30 seconds aside. Here we go, all the way up. Okay, you wanna modify this with just a crunch right there and leg in the ceiling, that's fine too. Otherwise, come up, right to your bottom. Grab your leg. Ooh, splash your stomach from the water. <laughs> Eight more seconds on the side. All right, little break there. All the way up. In three, two, and up we go. A little alternating plank tap out coming up from your elbows this time. All right, so get into that plank position. Elbows and toes, this can be done from the knees to modify alternating tap out there. Ready? Here we go. Don't rock the hips. Keep your feet a little bit more separate. Give yourself a good tripod when you lift the one arm off the ground. Thumb down. Russian twist is coming up. All right, have a seat. Whew. 
Lean it back, feet are on the ground to modify, otherwise your side to side right here. Okay, slow. This is nice with the weight. You have one handy, but you probably don't, because I said this was no equipment. Oh goodness, that is hard for me. I'm gonna put my feet on the ground, feel free to lift yours off. Lean back, way back, halfway. Almost there, last one. All right, a really little flutter kick. Lie on your back, hands underneath your bottom. Teeny tiny flutters this time. In three, two, here we go. Straight legs, little and quick. Whew. Is anyone else feeling the burn? Oh my goodness. Almost there, 10 seconds, come on. Keep going, Ugh. you got it. Do I got it though? In three, two, and time. That's hard. Flip it over into the plank again. All right, plank, alternating shoulder tap. From the knees to modify right here. Otherwise, up. Now, your focus is not to rock your hips, okay? I want you to stay as parallel to the ground as you can. Really focus. It should be all ab concentration, so you're not rocking side to side, okay? You want your hips facing the ground the whole time for the next 10 seconds. Work hard. And come on. In four, three, two, and there's your time. All right, let's hit another cardio sequence. We started that ab round with our feet up on the bench or couch. We're gonna start the cardio round up like that too. You'll be up here. We're gonna jump down and back up. Modify this by jumping off the ground or press stepping up off the ground. All right, let's get to it. Tuck that shirt in so my guts don't come popping out. Ready and Nice little pattern going. My feet are a little bit wider. Makes it a bit easier for me. This is probably really not awesome for my couch. Almost there. Alright. Woo! That was uh, not as fun as I thought it would be. All right, let's skip to bring our heart rates down, make sure we're not dizzy. Here we go. Ew. That was a bit pukey. Okay. Halfway. Okay, cardio front and back kicks. Okay, I'll show you the mod coming up. This is a bit tricky, don't trip yourself. All right, in three, two, two, modify here. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, to back, back. Now we're gonna kick it, get it? Don't trip. Front, front, back, back. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my God, that's it. Ooh, that hurts my glutes. Really get those feet up. I'm not even gonna try to alternate or switch lead legs. I don't wanna trip. Okay, that was gross. Side to side hop. So modify here. We're gonna double foot jump side to side. Ready? And Split, split, squat coming up. Okay, you can reverse lunge, reverse lunge, squat to mod. Or you can jumping lunge if you want 
more. So here's your modification squat, okay? And either you can jump lunge or split. So split, split, squat, or jump lunge, jump lunge, squat. I'm doing the split. Otherwise, you won't be able to tuck or walk. Partial burpees coming up. Okay, partial mod is plank. Tap up toward your hand, otherwise two foot jump. Here we go. Good 
down, drop your butt. Don't just bend at the waist. It's a squat still. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Skipping. I'm sure my cheeks are bursting red. Whew. Ready? Here we go. Almost done, everyone. Just skip it out. Think of your summer goals. The body that you want, well, not just for summer, as you know, for the rest of your life. That's what you're working for. Not just summer body, please. A lifetime body. All right. Three, two, rest. Oh, what next? Um, let's do a side to side shuffle. Okay, get low. I know we did this at the beginning, but mine is going blank as we're coming to the end here. Let's just finish off really strong. And then we'll do a final burpee to finish off this sequence. And then one more ab. And we're done. Blow. Regular burpee. Give me everything you got in this last one. In three, two, let's go. Oh, I forgot to show you the mod, but we did this one already. Hopefully, you're walking it out if you have to. Eight seconds. is it. Okay, take a break, grab a drink, one more ab sequence. Let's start with a line bicycle. Okay, on your backs everyone, get ready. In three, two, here we go. All right, if you wanna modify this, leave your legs on the ground, tap your knees opposite elbow. Otherwise, pull legs off the ground. Let's do it like this. Now again, does not have to be quick. Slow, controlled, extend that leg all the way out. That's it. Side plank, arm reach is coming up. 30 seconds per side on that guy. Side plank takes too long to move in and out of, so let's keep it down here. Okay, modify here, you're reaching in and up. Otherwise, from your toes, let's go right now. Here we go, reach through and up. Slow, slow, and up. I'm gonna modify that on this side for myself. That weight on my shoulder is not feeling the best. So, okay. You just gotta listen to the body. Do what it is telling you to, so you don't injure yourself. In three, two, and switch sides. I don't know what that is. Ready? Pop it up and bring it in. Here we go. And up. Control on this. Hip hop to leg extension is coming up on your back. Halfway. more here. Low and up. Okay, lie on your back. Hands underneath your bottom. Pop your feet to the ceiling. Bend, extend. Ready? Here we go. Pop up, bend, extend as low to the ground as you can manage. Sometimes I put my head up when I'm extending. That helps my back. You do whatever feels good for you. Okay. You want to keep your head down. That works too. Ninety degree crunch is coming up. Okay. Woo. I 
let's put the legs at 90 degrees, hands behind your head, try not to cross your ankles, and crunch up. Ready? And up. And bring the chest to the ceiling here. Oh, it's hard not to cross. Kind of want to, don't you? Try not to. Remember, head is just, hands are supporting the head, not pulling the neck. One more. All right, let's flip it over. Elbow toe plank. We're just holding that plank position. Can be done from the knees to modify. Here we go. Relax. Woo. Great chance to bring the heart rate down here. Just do some slow, deep, regular breathing. Breathe in through, through the nose and slow exhale through the mouth. Really slow. Bring that heart rate down. Good. Let's move into a seated bicycle. Okay, seated this time. Again, to uh, modify, keep the legs on the floor, bring the knee to elbow. Otherwise, everything stays off the floor. Right here. Here, grab your shoelaces. Okay, lengthen through that quadricep. Push your hip away from you or towards me or wherever I am. I'm gonna push mine towards you. There you go. Just lengthening through that quad. I kind of like to set my foot down behind me there and just increase that stretch even more by putting, tucking my toe under a little bit and just really lengthening in through that hip flexor. Okay, another really great stretch for hip flexor. Lie on the side of your bed. So if you're lying down there, let your leg fall off one side of the bed and really lengthen in there. I think that's a really good way to get those length. And if you sit at a desk, you probably have quite shortened hip flexors. You know what I've been doing, okay, switch sides, is I have a desk that I do all my editing at. And for one of these videos, for an hour video, it probably takes me about six hours to edit it. It's a long time. So, um, that being said, ugh, I'm so not used to sitting down for that period of time. I don't like it at all. So we've got a little island and I've just been putting my computer up there and using the island as my standing desk. So always a way to modify that. Let's sit up tall, bring the feet in and press those elbows into the knees and get that groin all stretched out. 
So I'll do that. Oh, that kind of hurts my feet though, so I'll make sure that I actually wear my runners when I'm standing. So I have a little bit more cushions as opposed to standing on the hardwood floor. Uh, it's really good. I like it a lot because then I don't get this tense shoulder back here. I just feel, and my hips stay, stay less tight. Because, so I alternate between that. If I get tired, I sit down, and if not. Do any of you have standing desks? Let me know in the comments below if you like it. Maybe what brand you have, because uh, I think it's a good idea to get into that. Let's stretch that hamstring a bit here. Boy, did you do that workout with me the other day where we did the single leg deadlifts? It might have been last Saturday's workout, I can't remember. Maybe last Wednesday's. Oh, my hamstrings are still sore from that. That single leg deadlift, I held the 15 pound dumbbells in my hand. That sure does, um, it was a Tabata. Do you remember that one? Yeah, that was hard. Um, anyway, hopefully your hamstrings are also sore from that, so I'm not suffering by myself. All right, hinge forward. I mean, again, you, you should feel a soreness, you know, like a stiffness in the muscle, like you've worked the muscle, but if you can't sit uh, or walk or go to the bathroom properly, you've overdone it, right? And you don't, that kind of takes you out of the game for a couple days, so it's, there's, it's a moot point to do that uh, because reparation then takes so long. Don't do that. Don't like go balls to the wall all the time or lift as heavy as you can or what your body's not used to all the time because uh, it takes a long time to repair then. And especially if, you've, if you're aging, if you're getting older, stay within a good rep range for you. Hypertrophy, which is that 12 rep weight range, 10 to 12 reps, is typically a good rep range to go into so that you're not super, super sore. But if you haven't done anything in a while, and you go to the 12 rep range, you could be really, really sore the next day. So I've learned this a long time ago with my clients. If they're just getting back into it or if they're brand new, start off light, way later than they think. Because in the moment, they'll be able to lift it or you can, you can lift it. You're like, this is fine. I can do 40 push-ups. But the next day, your muscles are like, wait, what did you just do? So you just got to be cautious with that, right? Okay. Be careful. All right, excellent job. Thank you again for joining me. That was fun. I'm glad that it's over, but I'm glad that we did it. All right, if you want more like intense cardio ab workouts, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here or right there for more just like this. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love it if you share. Thank you for sharing on Pinterest. That makes my heart happy when I see that. I appreciate your support. As always, go and move daily.